We are in Liverpool where the Netball World Cup is currently taking place and I've got with me here former Zim James player Joyce Rupere. Joyce Rupere is a veteran. She played for Zimbabwe. Which years, Joyce? Oh, I don't, about 25 years ago and I played almost 10 years prior to that. Okay, uh, which position were you playing? Uh, I was a goal shooter, a ball attack and a few games I would play G GD, but I was so I was the first choice shooter to be my ladies. Okay, so um, which regional games did you play? Do you remember? Uh, which uh, sorry? Which uh, regional games did you play? We played the uh, zone six games twice. One was hosted uh, in, in Zambia where we played teams like Tanzania, Kenya, Uganda, Malawi, and Zambia. And then we also played uh, in Zimbabwe, we hosted, I don't remember the years now, and the same one six teams, they came to Zimbabwe. Uh, we were still coming up, but we obviously we didn't get to the uh, finals. And I remember when it was hosted by Zimbabwe, I remember Kenya and uh, no, Tanzania and Uganda came to the finals and it was brilliant. I remember Zimbabwe once hosted the fifth All Africa Games. Do you remember those? I think for the that, I think that one must be the and they year. and there was netball as well. That's the time the Stoddard uh, netball complex was built in time for the fifth All Africa Games. Yeah, that one I think I must have used it in between maybe. I was on maternity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so as a former Zim James player, what sort of uh, problems did you encounter during your days? Uh, during those days, it was just exciting. We were growing up. A lot of logistics we, 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 we couldn't follow. But uh, in, in other cases, we realized that uh, we didn't have enough uniform. It's like when you are a team, you need the whole uniform from underway to the top clothes and the shoes so that you feel you are the whole team. But in most cases, we source things on our own. But then we wouldn't know what administrations are going on or where we are lacking or where, why we could not get enough things. But as individuals, as people who love their sport, We'll just source, make sure I've got whatever shoe I can, whatever clothes I can to go and play. But obviously, the funding and the sponsorship was uh, a bit limited. You would actually sort of like go out of your way, do your own sponsorship from your family or from your fans. So those were the challenges we used to, to encounter. Okay, so what inspired you to start playing netball and at what age did you start? I don't remember how old I was in 1971 when I was back home in Zimbabwe, in Chinoa, in Zimbabwe. That's when I started playing. So when I went to that day, the four years I was playing, I was playing defense. And then after that, when I went to the police, that's when... I started playing shooter and I really did very well with shooting. So for the 20 years I was in the police force, I played for different provinces. Uh, I played for Blue Whale because I worked with Blue Whale and I played for Harare Central because I worked for Harare Central uh, uh, Harare, and I worked for, played for PJHQ Depa because I worked at uh, CIDP HQ. Okay, let's talk about uh, the ongoing Vitality Netball World Cup. I know that you donated a few items for the Zim Gems. Um, what sort of items did you donate and what inspired you to, to donate these items? Okay, I can, I can first of all tell you what inspired me. Uh, in our days, we didn't manage to get to this level. So when I learned that the girls have um, qualified, I put myself in their positions and then I thought what would I want 
to look like? How would I want to look like? What would I want for this tournament? So I just thought this is my chance. Um, I have to go an extra mile for my coffers. Then I thought I also went on one of their websites, of the girls' website. So I noticed that one of their uh, desires were to have something that made them a complete uniform, wear them something that's uniform. So I thought if I could just pick on the shoes, I went an extra shift so that I would do exactly this because it's a one-off and um, I, I bought the shoes for the last line, the, 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 the final line, which were the Nikes which are here and I bought them with their socks as well. So I bought the 12 pairs of Nikes and then these are what, yeah, uh, and then I thought to for them to have a decent gowns, uh, you need to be wearing something nice inside and uh, the underways. I bought a pair of shorts. This is Pro USA Pro, and a pair of uh, bras. It's also USA Pro. But then the socks and the shoes. This is a uh, knife. So. With this, I know it's just inspiring. For when we used to get any form of uh, sponsorship, all through when we are playing, just in all oh, that little we got. So I knew this would just be a bit of an incentive for them because it's not easy to leave what you are doing, to leave your family, especially camping away from home, and especially having to leave the country going away. So just for this is what I thought I can do for them, and uh, I feel like I'm part of them. And uh, something funny, I even dream playing netball. So it's something that's not going away. So this is what I did for them. And we managed to travel with my family as far as five hours to come and stay here for three nights so that we can be with them to support the sport. Oh, this is so impressive, Joyce. And uh, what's your message to other people who've not supported sports or who don't encourage their children to take up sports? Um, the thing is, with families, uh, there are a lot of things which they want their children to pursue. Uh, at the same time, people uh, run their families differently. But I would encourage, if you see that your children or even your friends' children are interested in sport, just come up with any help of any information, any stories of su successful stories of uh, players, or even like this, just to think, okay, uh, if somebody can come up 25 years later, that means sport is not something funny. It's uh, something that can people can be professionals and can uh, have an, a living with the sports. And it's actually like, you know, it's, it's good interaction with different people, different colors, different religions and everything. So that's, that's something that I thought uh, if people can just come in, you don't have to do much, even coming to support, it does help. Because sports helps in a lot of things, uh, like I say, interaction and then even financially. Okay, do you have any plans to go back into netball? Um, at the moment, I have. Given the opportunity, I will be very happy to be part of what, whatever uh, netball organization is there because uh, I've got a little information I've got and uh, I've played a long, for a long time and I know I can inspire somebody or I can help and I can maybe, especially as somebody who's been a player for a long time, I can be standing 
for the players so that okay their wishes or whatever they their needs can always be looked into and so that when they do their games at least they are motivated. Okay, Zimbabwe faces Northern Ireland tomorrow. Imagine yourself playing out there. What goes on to your mind before a major game? Uh, what's in my mind before a major game is a win-win. Before I get in, I just record a win. And right through, it doesn't matter what's happening, the final whistle is the one that determines. It's just like fight on, fight on, fight on. Okay, so what sort of support do you expect from uh, people sitting on the terraces if you are playing in a game? Uh, it's just like if I just hear that it's my supporters, and especially us here, people have been actually motivated. They just came in with their hundreds and the flags are flying. In Gomayacho, people are just playing drums and singing the songs. So that's the best thing you can do. Uh, for the, the, to send the message to the players because you can't communicate directly but that's a good communication they will know that we are having support and uh, they can always try to pick up and do more because of the support okay thank you so much is there anything else that you'd like to add on yeah what i would just like to add on is especially for the players uh, you don't have to be part of the admin if you are a player. Be a player. Be motivated. Why you are going to the game is because you love the game. And uh, the most important thing is discipline. Follow the rules. Follow the logic. Just follow, follow the instructions. And if you are in the game, just follow the game. Follow, even if you know that that whistle is not the right whistle for me, but the umpire's word is final. So discipline is the best thing you can ever give in a sport. Okay, I believe the Zim Gems will be traveling back to Zimbabwe on the 23rd. What sort of advice would you give them when they get back to Zimbabwe? What sort of things can they do to improve their skills, to improve their netball, and to develop? Yeah, they are actually in the right track because uh, I watch their games playing very well. They are meeting all the standards, but what they can only do is to make sure that they concentrate on the game. They concentrate on their game, they concentrate on their skills. They just do the best they can. What they want to do is to be a better player. They must always want to be a better player. Don't just think that, okay, at least I've played one uh, World Cup. It's not enough. Be a better player. Just keep on going and just wish them the best of luck. Okay, I spoke to a few ladies who are supporting the Zim Gems here in the UK and they spoke about support such as physiotherapy, the use of gyms, and uh, more fitness. Um, did you get these kind of things when you were playing as the Zim Gems? Uh, when I was playing, there was none of that. When we used to do our training, it's just exercise and the lying. But um, I think that is a very good, that would be a very good input for us if we can get to a point where we know they've got a gym where they can go, and maybe if we can manage to give them some items to use, some machines to use, because there are a lot of machines to use, some bicycles, some whatever to use for for, for their for their fitness, because running alone is not enough, uh, those exercises are not enough, but they need the gym, and also the person who is in the gym, who is trained, who knows how to tackle all the sprains or all the injuries and everything. And also, I don't know if they could have a doctor, a, a, a physician to be with them because it does help 
they don't have to go, they can go to the hospital, but already the first things have been done there to, that can actually prevent them from having um, an injury to, to go on and unnoticed because some injuries can go unnoticed or you might think that it's just a sprain or something where it has happened. But when there is a doctor there, they actually diagnose something and then they are helped. They get the proper help, get the proper assessment. A team doctor, if we can afford it, it's best to have. Okay, with the high level of publicity and support the Zim Jams have received, Shall we look forward to seeing more Zimbabweans, especially in Zimbabwe, supporting netball? Because I believe a lot of support um, in sports in Zimbabwe is on football. Do you, do you think it's going to change things around for netball? Um, yes, definitely it will, but I think we need to do a lot of talking. We need to do a lot of education because we've always known that the only sport in, in Zimbabwe is football and then athletics. Netball was just silent. But then I think with this, the, 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 the first the team to, to compete in a, in a world competition, that means a lot. So I'm quite sure people will come and rally behind them. And um, one of them, definitely, I'm, I'm not going to be left behind because I'm so excited and over the moon. So I'll try to also talk to friends so that we can just rally behind them. Okay, Joyce, you are a former Zim Gems player. And um, what sort of things are you going to be doing here in the United Kingdom to promote netball? as well as help to boost the national netball team in Zimbabwe? Uh, what is a single handout? Um, I know it might be a bit tricky, but I know if we mobilize each other and then we can do some donation of things that we think, okay, obviously communication with the team that's back home, hear what they want, hear what the challenges are, and we work together because what we think they want it might not be the right thing they want so working with the team and us here then together we should be able to bring up something especially like the gym is very important and another very important thing is when they are camping they need to have proper facilities they need to have enough so that one, their minds are free, their, their health is not compromised, uh, the medical team is there during the preparation. So that also, we just, their diasporans who are interested in the game can always come in and uh, communicate and hear their, what they want and uh, how they want us to achieve in the world. Okay, which team did you play for and which years did you play for the Zim Gems? Um, we had not identified a name. This Gems is just something that we saw now. Um, I, you were known as the Zimbabwe National Netball Team. Yes, it was the Zimbabwe National Netball Team. To be honest with you, to, to give you the years, I have lost but the last game which I uh, played, the Inter Interpol Games in South Africa, I'm quite sure it was 1999. So prior to that, about 18 days I was in the force, I was playing netball. And uh, various years, various uh, competitions. And the most uh, competition that I really featured in was the Commissioner's Shield which we used to play as different provinces, but like I said, it was a commissioner shield that was only for the police. There was great talent. There was good competition, and uh, it was done yearly. Okay, you played for the Zimbabwe Republic Police Team. Were you based in Harare as well? Yes, I was based. I, I played in Harare, and I played uh, at some point I was in Bulawayo. 
at home about nine, nine years, eight, eight years of competition I was with Harare Central. And one last year, the last year I played my commission as I was with PGH, which was the CF headquarters. Okay, thank you so much, Joyce Rupere, former Zimbabwe national netball team player who is here in Liverpool at the Vitality World Cup netball supporting the Zim Jams. So, any message for Zim Jams before you go? Uh, I just love them and I always uh, love them and I always do my best. And whatever they are doing, wherever they are, they must know that we, the veterans, we think about them and we wish them the best. Thank you so much.